chair and we're going to start with our warm up. I try with the band classes just to throw in a few new exercises because otherwise it does get a little bit repetitive. Um, although they're always such a great workout, sometimes it's nice to try a little bit something different. Let's roll the shoulders back. There we go, lovely. Arms out to the side. Let's warm up those rotator cuff muscles. Doing our walk like the Egyptian exercise. Same thing goes with all the classes. If any exercise is uncomfortable, please come out of it. I will always give options. Right, grabbing your one knee, but you guys know your bodies by now. So if anything is sore, I don't want you to push through pain. Um, you can let me know if it's uncomfortable and I'll always try and figure out some solutions for you. Good, one more each side, pulling that knee up. Very nice. Right, grabbing under your shin and under your knee, and change sides. We're going for three each side, alternating sides, and pulling up, nice. Breathing out, keeping up nice and tall, work on your balance, tummy in. Very good, right, grabbing your foot behind you, make sure you tuck your knees in, tuck your hip in, and reaching up, and change. Good, one more each side, and then we're going to do our uh, reaching forward. I don't really know what it's called, actually. From here, let's reaching forward, stretching. Getting a lovely stretch in the whole anterior line. Lovely, other side, and reach. Find a spot to focus on so that you can keep your balance. Very good, well done. Let's cross right leg over left, reaching down to the ground. And changing sides, opening up in between and change. Good, coming up and right over left again. Relax the head down and opening, good. Today feels like a Tuesday, but it is a Wednesday already, these four day weeks. And reaching down, one more time and down, lovely. Open your legs up nice and wide. We'll move one chair out of the way. And let's slide the hands down your right leg. Swishing round by in front of you and coming up the left. And down on the left leg. And up. Very nice. Let's keep going. Down on the right. Round, reach round as far forward as you can so that you get a nice stretch on the hammy. So when you're here, try and reach in front of you. Lovely, one more each side, stretch, and coming up, last one to the right, let's hold it here, face your right leg, bend that front leg, knee of the ankle, you can drop your back knee down if you need to, and we're going to twist, reaching up, look at your hand, drop your back knee if you need, hands on either side of that front foot, and stretch, and bend and twist the other way. Follow your hand with your head and reach. One more each side, very nice. Stretching up and stretch the front leg and change sides last time and stretch. Walk your hands round on the floor to the other side so your left leg is in front. Bend the knee, make sure your knee is in a straight line over your ankle, hands on the floor. If you need to drop that back knee down to the floor, you can. And let's rotate. Hands on either side of your front foot and stretch that hamstring. Bend and reaching up the other side. And down and stretch. Beautiful, one more each side, reach. And down and stretch that front knee. And reaching up last time. And straight. Well done. Walk your hands to the middle. Relax your head down. Relax your arms down. Start walking your feet in towards each other. Hip distance. And curling up. One vertebra at a time. Very nice. Right. Let's get going. You're going to grab your band. We're starting with it round the knees as usual. Right, 45 seconds, 15 seconds while I show you the exercise. We're going to start with either a jumping
jumping jack or a side step. So we can either do a jumping jack or we're going to step. Okay, both work the same muscles. No problem which one you want to do. If you don't want to do any bouncing, you can keep it low impact by stepping side to side. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. So we're either doing jumping jacks, very nice, or we're doing side steps. That's it. Tummy pulled in. Still get the arms going if you step into the side. Lovely. 30 seconds. Keep aware of your posture. Shoulders down and back. We've got 20 seconds. Keep going. Nice side steps. Big steps so you can feel the band. Beautiful. 10 seconds. Keep that tummy pulled in. Three, two, and one. Very nice. 15 seconds to rest. The next one, we're just going into a straight squat. As you squat, you're going to take your arms forward, and then I want you to stretch them back. So we're opening up the chest. Let's go. So we squat and open. And we're reaching forward and open. Still keep aware of your squat. Your squat stays the same. Weight through your heels. And you squeeze as you come back. This just opens up the chest because so much of what we do is rounded in our chest. Tummy in. So it's just a nice way to open up. Knees facing forward. 10 seconds. Reaching back. Five. Three, two, one. Very nice. Have a little rest. The next one we're going to squat down, feet apart, and we're taking our one knee out to the side. So remember, it's still a little squat. Weight through your heels. Let's go. And we just take the one knee out. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. So we're squeezing this glute. Keep nice and low. And I want your weight back through your heels. Your back is nice and flat. Tummy pulled in. Notice I'm not here. I'm around. Nice. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. This left leg stays dead still. So I'm not having to move that, but it's having to work while I stabilize. 10 seconds. Shoulders down and back. Lift your chest. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Standing up, have a little break. We're going to go back down. Same exercise, other side. So let's get ready. You're going to drop down. Nice squat, right leg stabilizing, back nice and straight, tummy in. Let's go. Squeeze that knee out. So remember, a nice squat. My weight is through my heels. Back is nice and flat, tummy in, chest lifted. Make sure you're not in this position. Open up that chest. Great job, and squeeze. Phew. My legs are burning already. This is not a great sign, but it's good. 15 seconds, squeeze. I'm trying to up my other training. Getting fit for a big height, building some muscle. Sure, it's hard. <laughs> Three, squeeze. Two, one. Very nice. We're going to do our side stepping. So from here, we're going to squat down, walking sideways. Five steps one way, five steps the other way. Let's go. Tummy in. I want you to lead with your knees. So the pressure is out. I don't want this. I don't want your lower leg knee leading. Think of with your knees. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze and keep that posture beautiful. Back is straight. Dropping down. Weight through your heels. Keep that back up strong. That's it. Looking good. Tummy pulled in. Woo! 10 seconds, feeling that burn, five, one more that way, keep it up, 
three, two, one. Very nice. Grabbing your chair for balance. We're going to do standing, taking our leg out, 45 degrees behind us. So I'm not taking it directly out, not taking it back, I'm taking it sort of 45 degrees back. Chair is just there for balance. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. That's it. Have your standing leg slightly bent. Make sure when you do this, that you're not arching your back. I'm not going like this. My body stays up perfectly still. And I'm just squeezing, so I feel it sort of here, in my little saddlebags. Well, not so little after Easter, but it's okay. Squeeze. Pushing back, 45 degrees, tummy pulled in. Make sure you're not arching your back. We've got five. Tummy in. Three, two, one. Very nice. You can have a little stretch, reaching down, coming back up. And we're getting ready to go on the other side in five seconds. Tummy pulled in. Three, two, one. Remember, taking the leg 45 degrees back. So it's in line, diagonally. So if I was looking at a clock, this would be like four o'clock. There we go, tummy pulled in. Keep your chest lifted from the side. You can see my body stays dead still and I'm just squeezing from here. You wanna think of this muscle tightening as you pull. I always find it better if you can actually visualize the muscle working. You really think into it more. 10 seconds, tummy pulled in. Hi Felix, you're back. Squeeze. Three. Two, one, very nice. Now we're gonna use our chair to sit on. So if you've got a box or a bench or anything that you can sit on, we're gonna sit on the chair, lean slightly back. You can do this on a ball as well, that's perfect. Tummy pulled in and the band stays around your knees. And from here, we're gonna do a knee abduction. So we're gonna pull our knees open and closed. Tummy pulled in, if you're sitting up, straight, it's a little bit easier. So if you can lean back, and let's go, tummy pulled in, squeeze. Try and have that little, even uh, Leanne, if you maybe lean on the ball behind you a little bit, put your hands behind you on the ball, and hold on, that's it. So you get a little bit of a leaning back, and tummy in, don't arch your back, squeeze those knees out. This is just a slightly different way of working it. Make sure you're still looking after your posture. I don't want this. Nice long necks. Tummy pulled in, we've got 15 seconds to go. And squeeze. 10, beautiful. You'll feel your butt clench as you do this, that's fine. Five, tummy in, long neck. Three, two, one, very nice. From here, while we've got the chair, I wouldn't do this on the ball, maybe on the floor. We're gonna do tricep dips. So you can do these on the floor, or if you've got a chair, feet hip distance apart, don't sink in. Push the floor away. And we're gonna go down and up, let's go. Elbows going back. Imagine you sliding your back down that chair. So you want to think of grazing the chair with your back. You don't want to be out here. Perfect. Elbows going back. Dipping down and up. Grow tall in your neck. To get your hips activated, open your feet a little bit wider against the band. So there's just a little bit of activity. 15 seconds. At the end, I want you to give a little push up. So really push up even straighter. Grow tall. Three, two, one. Very nice, roll out those wrists. We're now gonna face the chair and we're gonna do mountain climbers on the chair. So Barbara, you can do knee lifts or on the chair if you're okay with it, you're gonna lean forward. We're gonna do knee lifts in. Keep the band around your knees, shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in and let's go. Shoulders down, pulling up against that band. You can put the band around your feet, but actually this is perfect, because I want great form. 
nice and slow. Tummy pulled in, that's it. If you want to put the band around your feet, you absolutely can. Down and up. Pulling in, shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, keep a nice flat back. Awesome. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your hands. Tummy pulled in. Pulling that knee in, squeeze. We've got 10 seconds. Great job. Three, two, one. Very nice. Let's move the chair out the way. We're going to take the band off your legs and come onto all fours. Right, a slightly different way of doing a row, just to build in a little bit more stability. You're going to take your band for your arms. From here, you're going to put it in one hand. Rest your hands on the floor. So I'm holding this band in my left hand. My right hand is going to row. But I'm going to lift my left leg up. Keep my hips facing the floor. Shoulders down and back. And from here, I'm going to row this arm. So I'm doing the same row. Elbow grazing the ribs. On my right arm. But the left leg is up. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one. One, tuck your pelvis under, back nice and flat, row. You want to think of keeping both shoulders and hips facing the floor. So you've really got to work your core. Very nice. So from here, we're working the front. And you're pulling. My left leg will be up. Beautiful job. Keep going. Keep those shoulders and hips facing the floor. Leg up, hips facing the floor, tummy pulled in, don't arch the back. Breathe out as you pull that arm up, tuck your tummy in. Lengthen this leg away, try and touch the wall behind you. We've got five, three, two, one. Very nice, go back into a little child's pose before we change sides. So. From here, you're going to take the band, hold it static in your right hand on the floor. Your left hand is going to row, and your right leg is going to be lengthened and lifting up. Make sure from here that you're not arching. You want to think of tucking your tummy in. Let's go in three, two, one. If you need the band tighter, you can grip it a little tighter in your hand. And let's go. Really keep that shoulders and hips facing the floor. Elbow going, grazing your ribs. Pull your tummy in. Make sure your back is nice and flat. Lengthen that right leg away from you. Try and touch the wall behind you with that leg. And you rowing. Beautiful, everyone. We've got 15 seconds. Tummy in. Stretch. Squeeze, beautiful. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come and lie on your back. We're going to put the band around your feet and we're going to go into our single leg stretch. So lie on your back, legs up, hands behind your head if you want to, but make sure your head stays down on the floor. I just put my hands under my head because sometimes I find my neck arches a little bit. So if you find your neck tends to go back, tuck your chin in and have your hands behind your head. Right, from here, tummy pulled in, lift your tailbone. We're going to go in three, two, one, push and pull. Breathing out as you change, pull that belly button in. Make sure you're not arching your back. Lift your tailbone. As you push and pull, I want you to really think deeper into your abs. Connect them. Squash your back to the floor. Visualize that coccyx, the tip of the coccyx. Think of lifting it. Beautiful job. We got 20 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. 10. Woo. Push and pull, breathing out as you change. Three, two, one. Awesome. Right, from here, 
put the band around your feet. You're going to have your legs up. Hands behind your head. Lift your chin onto your chest. And we're going to push out against the band. I'm going to put a slightly heavier band on because my legs are a little stronger than my arms. So from here, still thinking of lifting your tailbone. I want you to turn your legs out. So as your feet are facing the ceiling, turn them slightly out. And let's go. Oh, that's too stiff. Right, keep going, pushing out. Find the band that's right for you. Very nice. I had great expectations and I didn't meet them. Tummy in, chin onto your chest and push. Keep thinking of lifting that tailbone. Squeeze. If this is too much, you can bend your knees and just do butterfly. And push, we've got 15 seconds. Head and shoulders up, pushing out to the side. Squeeze, turn your feet out. Woo! 10. Tummy pulled in. 3, 2, 1. Oh, very good. Take the band off your feet. We're going to do some upper body and then go back into our glutes. So we're going to come onto your knees. And we can go into our upper body series. With this, I always use a different band. Legs are way stronger than my upper body, so I've got variations of bands. If you do, you can use a different strength. If you don't, use what you've got. Right, shoulder blades pull down and back. Tummy in, squeeze your bottom. We're gonna pulse those shoulders up and down. We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go, arms straight. Good. If you feel this in your neck at all, I only want you to take the band shoulder height. So if you feel your neck kicking in, just stop at your shoulders and go back down. So you can stop there, go down. Keep remembering your tummy. Squeeze. Shoulders in, tuck your chin in. I want those elbows straight. Push. Beautiful. If you're feeling it at all in your neck, just keep it down. We got 10 seconds. Keep squeezing. Elbows straight. Beautiful job. Three, two, one. Very nice. We're going to go into our biceps straight away. We know this by now. Holding the band in both your hands by your thighs. And keep your elbow tucked in at your waist. We're going to bend up and down. Shoulders pull down and back. Let's go. Really watch your posture with this. It's very tempting for the shoulder to come forward. You want to keep it back. Absolutely. I see Leanne's got a weight. If you've got weights and you prefer to use it, you certainly can. Breathing out as you squeeze. Shoulders down and back. Good. Make sure that your elbow stays in at your waist. Your shoulder blade is pulled down and back. You are squeezing your bottom, squeezing your tummy. You can see I'm tilting under. We got 10 more, shoulders down and back. Five, whew, three, two, one. Relax for five, 15 seconds. We're gonna go straight to the other side. Make sure you're not using your neck. If you set your shoulder blades down and back, your upper trapezius muscle can't work. So that's why I focus on that. Right, let's get ready. Other side, shoulders down and back. Let's go. Elbow in at your waist. Squeeze your bottom. You're welcome to use a weight. If you have one on hand and it's easier. Tummy pulled in. Yeah, that's perfect. Squeeze. Shoulders down and back. Keep squeezing that tummy. I don't wanna see this. Tuck under. Beautiful. So your upper, you keep going, your upper trapezius muscle goes from the base of your neck to the shoulders and down your back to a V, sort of here. So if we set the shoulders, it's our lower trapezius working, so then the upper trapezius switches off. And rest, relax. And if it switches off, you can't work it, so it doesn't pull into your neck. So that's why I'm always going on about it. Right. Triceps, band over your left hand. 
on your right shoulder. Put the band in here, elbow at your waist. Tummy in, so right, left hand, right shoulder. Elbow in, and we're gonna go in five seconds. Tummy in, let's push him down. Make sure your wrist stays in line with your forearm. See my arm here, I don't want to see that. You want your wrist in line. Squeeze, try and get a little squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze, see that tricep. Tummy in, shoulders down and back. Squeeze that thumb, beautiful, control. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Let's change sides. Right hand on left shoulder. Band in the left hand. Elbow tucked in. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your tummy. Let's go. And again, remember that wrist. The temptation here is to let it bend. But I want it in line with your forearm. So just have a quick check when you're doing it that it's straight. Tummy in, very good. Shoulder down and back. Remember we want to switch off these big bully muscles because everybody starts struggling with their neck at some point. Just lifestyle. So if we set our shoulders, we help to treat that. Keep pushing. I'm very chatty today. Must be the coffee. <laughs> and squeeze for 10 more. Nice. Five, three, two, one. Very nice. Band around your forearms again. We're going to do our chest expansion. So make sure the band is below your watch. Mid forearm. Elbows up in line with your shoulders. Shoulders down and back. We're going to open and close. Let's go. So now I want you to imagine you've got a tennis ball or a little nut, a walnut between your shoulder blades. And you want to squeeze that. So you're wanting to try and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze it. Nice. Tummy pulled in, squeezing your bum. Awesome. Out to leg. Make sure the band's not too heavy so you can actually move it. If it's too heavy, then maybe just take the band off and pulse your arms here. Squeeze. We've got five seconds. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Very nice. Take the band above your head. Shoulder blades away from your ears. You can see here they're scrunched up. I want space. I want to see that space. And we're going to pull out to the side and down. Let's go. Remember your abs. Remember your glutes. Squeeze everything. If you can think about it, squeeze it. Down and up. Remember from the side, my elbow's going in line with my side of my body. Tummy pulled in. Bum squeezed. Out to the side. We're going to change in five seconds. Shoulders down and back. Three, two, one. Let's change sides straight away. We're doing 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. Remember to tuck in. Shoulders down. I don't want to see this. I want to see space behind you. Better. Tummy pulled in. We've got 10 seconds. Keep this connected. 
So it's almost like you're pulling down for five, three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Grab a sip of water. We're going to go down onto the mat with the band around your knees. If you need some water, have a quick sip. And let's put the band around your knees. And we're going to go onto our back to start with. Pelvic curl and then our sideline series. So from here, feet hip distance apart, band around your knees. Let's roll down to the floor. Very nice. You're going to have your arms up to the ceiling for a change. Really think of sliding those shoulder blades down and back. Push through the heels, curling up and down. Let's go. Breathing out as you curl up. Remember that tilt in the pelvis. Have the band around your knees. For this, there's just a little bit of resistance. Make sure you've got some resistance on that band so that your knees don't fall in. Make sure with this, you're pulling your tummy in. Pubic bone is leading the movement. There's a small tilt in that pelvis. Breathing out as you lift. Tummy pulled in all the time. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's hold it there. Knees go open and close. Keep the hips up. Your tummy is pulled in. Your pubic bone is slightly higher than your hip bone. And you're going out and in. Tummy pulled in. Shoulder blades sliding down your back. Awesome, we've got 20 seconds. Out, in. As you take it out, I really want you to over, I mean, pull in your tummy even more. Make sure you're not lowering those hips as you open. This stays still. We've got 10 seconds. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Awesome job, curling down. Get your bottom a little closer to your heels. And we're going to curl up and rise onto your toes. So you need to scoot your bottom down a little bit. Arms up here. We're going to take the arms down to the floor, thumbs to the floor, and then palms to the floor. Spread your fingers, lift your hips. Stay on your toes and we're just holding it up there. Tummy pulled in. 30 seconds. Really get that squeeze in your bum. Deepen that connection. Thumbs above your head. Palms to the floor. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Great. We've got 10 seconds. Whew. This is more of an endurance one because we're holding it. Three, two, one. One, palms to the ceiling, slide those shoulders down your back. Heels go down and up. That's it. So tummy pulled in, keep that tilt. Squeeze, down and up. 30 seconds. After this, we're going on to the side. Tummy in, squeeze. 20 seconds to go. Pull in those abs. Try and get that smile line where your bum meets your hamstring. Five, whew, three, two, one. Well done. Curling down. Hug those knees into your chest. Very nice. We've got a little bit more side work glutes to do. Come lie on your right side. I feel like my glutes are almost toast already, but that's okay. Can never have enough. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're going to go into our clam stinger. Okay, so hand on the floor for balance, tummy pulled in. Make sure your knees are together, feet off the floor. And let's go. We're going to open, extend, toes close. We straight into it. We're not warming up with just the clam, we're doing the whole 45. Tummy pulled in. You can relax your head or you can prop it up. Squeeze. Make sure your hips stay facing forward. These muscles make you strong for running, for sailing, for cycling, for any exercise, for any bad back, bad hips, bad knees. 
These exercises are the business. 20 seconds, tummy pulled in. Great job. And down. 10. After this, we're going to go onto our back for some abs. Nice. Then the other side. 3, 2, 1, and close. Well done. Come and lie on your back. Band stays around your knees. We're going to go into a sit up. Hands either by your side or by your head. And we're going to curl up. And curling down. All hands by your side. That's it. And curling down. Beautiful. If you want to stay with a crunch, you can do a crunch. Always remember it's your abs that are doing the work. So your head just follows you. Curling down. Beautiful. If you start with your hands behind your head, they must stay there. You don't want to throw them forward. 20 seconds to go. Breathing out as you curl up. And curling down. Nice work. And down. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Very nice. Let's lie on our other side. Clam stinger. Let's do this. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Get yourself ready. Knees in front of your hips, knees together, lift the feet up, tummy pulled in, hips facing forward, and let's go, open, extend, toes, and close, beautiful job, make sure you're pulling your belly button even deeper as you extend that leg, so you can keep your balance, use your breath to help you. 30 seconds, Woo. and pulse it out, and close, open, extend, toes, 15 more, tummy pulled in all the time, beautiful job, 5, great, and relax, very nice, come lie on your back again, we've got one more ab exercise, we're going to do a leg swap, with the band. So hands either behind your head or by your side. Lift the tailbone and we're going to do our leg swap. Breathing out as you change. Make sure you lift that tailbone. So as you drop your one leg down, you want to think of tilting that tailbone up even further. Tummy pulled in. Squash your back to the floor. Breathing out as you change. 30 seconds left. Tummy pulled in. Nice job, everyone. Last exercise. We've got 20 seconds. Squeeze. Don't arch your back. Lift your tailbone. Five. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Hug those knees into your chest. Very nice. Pop the band off your legs. Great job, guys. Well done. Right, let's stretch out the glutes because they have worked very hard. Cross your right ankle over your left leg and pull your left thigh in towards you. Use your right elbow to push that right knee out to the side a little bit more. And pull that leg in. That's beautiful. I hope you don't see my feet. I need a pedicure. Pull it in. And breathe out. The breathing out helps relax the muscle. Very nice. Pop that left foot down. Keep that foot across the knee. And let's take the knee down to the floor. So now we're stretching out our low back. So I'm putting my right knee across down to the floor using my left hand. Look at your right hand stretching away from you. And breathe. Lovely. Bring your knees back in. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock side to side. Good. Let's cross your left leg over your right ankle. Pull that right knee in towards you. Right thigh, sorry. And use your left elbow 
to push into your left knee, get a little bit more range. We're going to fly in towards you, breathing out to get a little bit more relaxation. Lovely. Pop your right foot down and let's take your left knee down towards the side. Stretching out your low back. Oh, it's a nice stretch. Almost imagine with your breath out that it's like a cloth that you're wringing out. So you can get a little bit more stretch. Very nice. Bring your knees back into your chest. Now, if you can, we're going to do a stretch we did yesterday. Feet up to the ceiling. Hold on the inside of your feet. And I want you to push your knees down towards the floor. If this hurts you, please don't do it. But it's a lovely stretch for the hips. And keep pushing pressure down on your feet so your knees go towards the floor. Beautiful. Rock sideways. Lovely. And roll up into sitting. Awesome. Let's just roll up the neck a little bit. Roll those shoulders, loosen off the upper trapezius muscle. Very nice. Look over your right shoulder. Roll your chin down on your chest to the left. Nice. And to the right. Hold the head there. Put your hand on top of your head and just pull the basically your nose down towards your opposite knee. You can sit on that left hand to hold it down. Good, let's change sides. So looking at your left knee, hand on top of your head, you can sit on your right hand to hold it down and pulling it down gently. Oh, it's a nice stretch. When you're there, you can rotate your head slightly to feel a better stretch. Beautiful. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. Great class. We'll see those of you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Okay. Bye. Thank you guys so much. Whew. Thanks, Nancy. Bye, Laura. Bye, Felix. You see? I was so oh. strong. I, that's the cheap one. No, do you, know how, do you know how many I've torn? I know. <laughs> but it's you actually know, just... I can't use my arms. No. Like, hey. No. <laughs> Shame, when you're next at work, I've got band, TheraBand, that you can come and get and you just tie it in a knot and it's a bit stronger if you want yeah. to, okay? All right. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, Felix. <laughs> Cheers, Laura. <laughs>